We here at IceCap have had a number of home hobbyists ask us about a commercial light fixture that they bought from another company that happens to have the same connectors as our ballast. And we've had a lot of people swapping out the factory ballast for ours and commenting that they've had a lot of increase in performance. So to take a look at that, we actually went out and purchased one of these fixtures. And uh, I'm going to do a small test using the standard bulbs that come with the fixture, the standard ballast, and then we're going to swap it out for the ice cap ballast while not changing the bulb or the lens or anything else. We're also going to take uh, measurements of both the PAR output using an Apogee PAR meter as well as the wattage of light, the wattage consumed by the ballast. It's uh, labeled as a 250 watt ballast with a 250 watt bulb, um, but its initial production gets about 40 and it takes a while to get all the way up to its peak. We're in a time lapse photography here for a little bit uh, because this labeled 250 watt ballast with a 250 watt bulb takes quite a bit of time to get up to its full peak potential. You can see from the label that it's marked as 2.35 watts uh, at 120 volts. Uh, watts equals volts times amps, which is 282 in this case. Uh, but it's still not quite there yet. We're, we're hovering at about 180. Uh, when we did the test yesterday, it got no higher than 182 watts. So we'll see what happens today. We seem to have peaked as far as the you know, wattage consumption on the standard OEM ballast. It's hovering between 181 and 182, jumping back and forth, uh, with the PAR settling in right now at 346. I've just swapped the ballast, allowing the lamp a little bit of time, about 15 minutes to cool down, and we now have the same bulb and the same fixture and the same lens cover, the only difference being the ice cap ballast plugged into it now. The ice cap ballast is putting a little bit more than twice the par out of the same bulb and the same fixture. Uh, now that is coming at slightly higher wattage consumed, but if you do the math, it is par per watt. The ice cap unit puts out about three par units for every watt consumed, whereas the standard OEM ballast is putting in about 1.9 watt uh, par units per watt.